Stop my recording too early. All right. So, if you're trying to find a triangle given SAS, so given two sides and an include angle. So, if I was told that this angle was 40 degrees and I knew that this side, and let's say I gave, was given all the sides. All right. I, I don't know if this actually is going to work out, if that would work out to be a good triangle. But if I was given all these pieces, the way I could find my area is by using the two sides and the included angle. So my formula is one half AB sine of C, meaning we have two sides and the angle that's between them. So all it is is one half. 10 times 15 times sine of 40. Yeah. So this would be like C. This would be like my A and my B. Just got plugged in. And now it's just multiplying. So you'd have one half of 10 is 5, 5 times 15 is, what is that, 75? And then you'd have to plug that into your calculator. You couldn't do that without a calculator. What if we're not here for the test? You have to take it after spring break, and it'll still count for the quarter. Our grades aren't due until a week after we come back. Why can't you use what? Because of the angle. So the, the, this was the only angle that we had. So we had to use these two sides. Yeah, because it's for SAS, two sides and an include angle. All right. So on here, you'd have to actually multiply that out, which, what do you get? 48 point. And that'd be our area. Again, it depends on what the question says. If it says round it to a whole number, then round it to a whole number. If it says round it to two decimal places or hundreds place, you know. Again, you'll have directions. Huh? That's area of a triangle given SAS. Two sides and an included angle. It is. There's definitely a question on it. It's, e it's usually the most missed question. I, I feel like. Well, even in my class, it's always the most missed question, I'd say. But again, it's on there. I'm telling you, it's on there. It's there. All right.